On to South Sudan now, and the country's lawmakers have begun debating a proposal to extend the presidential and parliamentary term to July 2021. Justice Minister Polino Wanawila Onango presented the constitutional amended Bill 2018 to Parliament. Elections were scheduled for July 2015, but the plan was interrupted after violence erupted in 2013. Meanwhile, tensions have been high since the latest ceasefire deal was violated last week. Both the government and rebel fighters accuse each other of launching attacks that killed 18 civilians. It was expected that the recent agreement between President Salva Kiir and his former Vice President Riek Machar during talks in Khartoum would be a big step towards ending the nearly five-year-old conflict. Meanwhile, Kenya's Foreign Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma has weighed in on the conflict in South Sudan. She says the African continent will not stand by and let the crisis deteriorate further. She was speaking at the end of the African Union summit in Mauritania. This summit um, has uh, applauded that effort. They have uh, taken note of the fact that the two main protagonists have met twice in a relatively short period of time. They have welcomed the fact that they have signed on to the permanent ceasefire document and they have welcomed the fact that they are engaged in order to elaborate the aspects of uh, moving so South Sudan to, to peace, to the stoppage of conflict, to ensuring that humanitarian access gets through and to ensure that uh, suffering stops uh, for the people of South Sudan. So generally the summit has welcomed those developments. They have also cautioned that uh, uh, it is just not going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, we will just not let things deteriorate any further. And so there is a, a, a rounded uh, consensus around this.